The Amazon River stretches more than 4,000 miles across South America, flows through eight countries, and carries more water than any other river on Earth. And yet, despite all of that, not a single bridge spans it. How can the world's mightiest river have no crossing? Let's find out. The Amazon isn't just another river. It's the largest river system on the planet. From Peruvian Andes to the Atlantic Ocean, it winds for over 4,300 miles, making it roughly the same length as the Nile. But where the Amazon sets itself apart is volume. It carries more water than the next seven largest rivers combined, discharging about 20% of all the fresh water that flows into the world's oceans. At its widest during the rainy season, the river can swell to nearly 30 miles across, more like a moving ocean than a river. Even in its narrower stretches, the Amazon dwarfs rivers like the Mississippi or the Yangtze. The river basin it drains is massive as well. Over 2.7 million square miles of jungle, wetlands, and tributaries, and that's an area larger than India. Given these facts, you'd expect the Amazon to be crossed by countless bridges, especially considering the millions of people who live along its banks. After all, smaller rivers around the world are covered in bridges, from rural crossings to massive megastructures. But here, despite centuries of settlement, ferries remain the only way to get across. Don't forget to subscribe. So, what's going on? Humanity has proven that scale alone is not an obstacle. We've built bridges more than 30 miles long, like China's Danyang Kushan Grand Bridge. We've bored tunnels under the English Channel and carved expressways through mountains. If we can engineer solutions to cross oceans and deserts, why not the Amazon? At first glance, the absence of bridges seems almost ridiculous. Surely, if smaller rivers across Europe, Asia, and North America can be spanned, the Amazon should be no exception. Yet the reality is that no government, no company, no international consortium has managed to put a bridge across it. The answer isn't one single obstacle. It's a combination of geography, economics, environment, and politics that, when stacked together, make the Amazon one of the most difficult and perhaps least sensible places in the world to build a bridge. The Amazon River doesn't flow like the Thames or the Seine, with stable banks and predictable currents. Instead, it meanders through vast floodplains, where the land is soft, unstable, and constantly shifting. Building the foundations for bridge pylons in this kind of soil is a nightmare. Engineers would have to anchor massive structures into mud that shifts with every rainy season. Then there's the flooding itself. Each year, the Amazon rises by as much as 30 to 40 feet during the wet season, spilling over into the surrounding forest and creating what are essentially temporary inland seas. A bridge built for dry season dimensions could easily be swallowed by rising water or undermined by the force of seasonal currents. And unlike rivers that run in narrow, consistent channels, the Amazon changes its course. Over decades, it can carve out new paths and abandon old ones, designing a permanent structure in an environment where the river itself refuses to stay put is a gamble at best. All of this means that while building a bridge is theoretically possible, the engineering costs skyrocket when you factor in the Amazon's unpredictable geography. But even if the technical hurdles could be overcome, another question arises. Is a bridge across the Amazon even worth it? Unlike the busy English Channel or the Strait of Gibraltar, the Amazon River doesn't separate two massive economic hubs. Much of the land along its course is sparsely populated, with small towns, indigenous communities, and scattered settlements. Cars and highways are rare in the deep Amazon. The river itself is the main highway. Locals rely on ferries, boats, and canoes to move people and goods. For the few larger cities, air travel connects them more efficiently than roads ever could. A bridge costs billions of dollars to design and construct, for comparison, the bridge between Denmark and Sweden cost around $4 billion for just five miles. To build across even a moderate stretch of the Amazon would likely cost several times that amount. 
For governments in South America, there simply isn't enough demand to justify spending that kind of money when cheaper ferries already do the job. Unlike Europe or Asia, where high-speed rail, dense highways, and massive trade justify mega-projects, the Amazon region doesn't provide the economic incentive. Food, healthcare, and infrastructure closer to home are a bigger priority for most people living there. Even if money and engineering were not obstacles, there's another factor, the environment. The Amazon basin is the most biodiverse place on Earth, home to thousands of species found nowhere else. Jaguars, pink river dolphins, giant otters, and countless birds depend on the river and its surrounding ecosystem. A bridge wouldn't just appear in isolation. To make it useful, you'd need highways leading up to it, which means cutting into the rainforest. Roads are often the first step toward deforestation, illegal logging, and habitat destruction. Indigenous communities that rely on the river and the forest would face disruption to their way of life. Environmentalists argue that a bridge across the Amazon wouldn't just be a piece of infrastructure. It would be the beginning of a chain reaction. Once you open up large-scale access, deforestation accelerates, species decline, and one of the world's most important carbon sinks becomes weaker. In an era when climate change is already a looming threat, that's a cost that many scientists argue isn't worth paying. So has anyone ever seriously tried? Surprisingly, the answer is yes, but not in the way you would expect. While there's never been a full-scale proposal for a bridge across the main stem of the Amazon, smaller tributaries do have bridges, especially in urban centers like Manaus. But the central Amazon itself has remained untouched. In the 20th century, as Brazil sought to modernize, engineers floated ideas for crossings, but they quickly died due to astronomical costs and limited use cases. In 2011, the Rio Negro Bridge near Manaus was completed, connecting parts of the city over one of the Amazon's largest tributaries. It would be hailed as an achievement, but also showed the scale of what would be needed for the main river, and why governments shy away from the idea. For the Amazon proper, the sheer scale, cost, and risk have kept every serious attempt in the proposal stage. Politicians may occasionally raise the idea, but it always collapses under financial, environmental, and logistical realities. Today, the Amazon River is crossed the same way it has been for centuries, by boat. Ferries transport cars, trucks, and people across at dozens of points. For long-distance connections, planes dominate. Airports connect major Amazonian cities more efficiently than any road could. Engineers agree that building a bridge is technically possible with modern technology, but without population density, economic demand, or political will, there's no real push to make it happen. In fact, some argue that leaving the Amazon bridgeless may be a blessing. It preserves one of the last great wild frontiers, where the river itself remains the main artery of life. Could that change? Well, possibly. As South American economies grow, pressure to connect remote regions may increase. But with growing global concern for the Amazon's health, any future project will face fierce opposition from environmentalists and scientists. For now, boats remain the present and likely the future. So, why is there no bridge over the Amazon River? It comes down to a perfect storm of challenges. Unstable geography, seasonal floods, low population density, enormous costs, and devastating environmental consequences. Any one of these might be manageable, but together they form a barrier stronger than concrete and steel. The irony is clear, though. Humanity has spanned seas, deserts, and mountains, We've built bridges longer than the Amazon is wide, and tunnels deeper than its waters. Yet here, in the heart of South America, the world's mightiest river flows without a single bridge. Perhaps that's not a failure of engineering, but a reminder that not every frontier is meant to be conquered. For now, and maybe forever, the Amazon River remains one of Earth's last great natural boundaries, crossed only by those who are willing to ride its waters. The world is full of mysteries, and we're here to crack them on World Cracked. As always, thanks for watching, be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.